In the Kitchen with Daytime Blue Ridge, sponsored by FNS Building Innovations. Build smart, build right. We are in the FNS Outdoor Kitchen with Jacob Galbraith. He's the owner of Asher's Coffee Beans. And then we have Bryn Ellen today from the Kind Baking Company. You guys met at a local farmer's market, right? Absolutely. And so this is kind of fun. We're doing the Battle of the Bakers. Yes. Not really. Because you guys collaborated on these things, but two different cakes both involve coffee. Talk mm -hmm. me through this. And you know, when you have coffee and cake, everyone's a winner. Yes. So, um, I'm doing a molten mocha lava cake, your dessert style cake, pairing the coffee and the chocolate together. A favorite and of mine. <laughs> Brynn is going to do the espresso crumb cinnamon cake. And what is a crumb cake? Um, a crumb cake has got a filling, usually a cinnamon filling. Today we're going to have it with some espresso. And it has a crumb topping, which has powdered sugar and flour and butter. And we have some ground espresso in it as well. And this is a family recipe? Yes. But yep. have you modified it at all with the coffee part? Yes. Or how did that work? Yes. Yeah. So this recipe has been modified several times um, with different things like berries and stuff. But uh, Jacob and I worked together to make an espresso coffee cake so that it would pair nicely with his coffee. Okay. So you've got some of the ingredients in front of you. Yep. Walk us through it. Um, so we have just a regular cake base. Um, and we made a cinnamon cup coffee. We're going to fill it. You just want to have lots of it in there. Oh, wow. That is hot. And yeah. while you're making a nitro, nitro cold brew, because brew, this will pair well, right? A little bitter with a little sweet Absolutely. going on. Yeah. Lots of flavors out here today, you guys. I'm so excited to try this. The crumb topping comes together. We're just mixing it all. We've got some freshly ground espresso powder in it, mm. butter, cinnamon. Too bad there's not smell-o-vision, right? Right? It smells <laughs> so good. Yes. And then yeah. you put that on top. How yeah. long do you bake it for? So you're going to put it in the oven on 350 for about 35 to 45 minutes. Okay. Um, until the toothpick can come out um, pretty clean. And of course, crumb cakes, I feel like that's more of a breakfast kind of yeah. a cake. Absolutely. You can have cake for breakfast, any cake you want, but especially yes. crumb cake. <laughs> yeah, it pairs really nicely with coffee because it's the cake base is a little drier. So when you put, you know, you can dunk it in your coffee or sip it on the side. All right, now let's get to the dessert cake. I mean, the real, like, after dinner molten lava yes. cake. How do you so, make the inside? So the molten lava cake, uh, you want to freeze the batter. And the trick that I use is I bake it a little hotter than you would a typical cake. Oh. And that's going to solidify the outside Ooh. and keep the, the inside nice and molten. Okay. And then if you like extra chocolate, you could even put a ganache in the center. Oh. And that'll in further enhance the molten lava effect that you have. I feel like I know we're supposed to try both, but I already have a bias towards this one just because I love it so much. And then look at this. You're adding some whipped cream. This is a Chantilly whipped cream that Ooh. we're going to do. And I have a coffee caramel sauce over top. Oh, Jenna, I bet she's sitting inside there just drooling as am I. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So now comes the part where we got to try both of them. Let me let me take this off camera so I can kind of remove my mask. Here we go. Which one do you guys say? Is that which one's your favorite? I like the espresso crumb. Oh, do you? I do. Okay, let's see. Oh, I'm cutting into it. Oh, look at that gooey goodness. Mm. Mm -hmm. Should get a little bit of the coffee and Still tons hot of the chocolate. Too. Yes. You did a great job. Okay. All right, crumb cake. Get at me. Yes. We're going to bring this inside, too, for Jenna to try. Sorry, Jenna. We're doing all the good stuff here. Okay, crumb cake. Texture looks good. Oh, it's more moist than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so a good, good crumb cake, too. <laughs> I don't so know. I Everyone's might have to go with the chocolate lava cake, though, you guys. But either one is great. And um, we're going to send people to your website to get more information. Thank you guys for joining us. This thank was you. so much fun. So much. Yeah, thank you.